Hey guys, welcome to today's reading. We are going to be looking at the energies for Divine Masculines and Divine Feminines in Divine Soulmate Connections. And yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. I really don't have anything to say before we start, so we're just going to get right into it. We're going to look at um, both the Masculines and the Feminines energies, as well as what is coming up and any messages for you watching that might be helpful for you. Do keep in mind this reading is general, so it's not going to resonate for everyone. But if you want a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. All right, so let's get started and see. All right, so what is going on with the masculines currently? I feel like things are getting a bit easier for a lot of you, but there are still some obstacles. I, I get the sense that it almost feels like there's like um, a tease going on where you get a little bit or you start to feel like things are smooth sailing and then a trigger hits or something comes up just to make you feel like, all right, you know, <laughs> this is getting hard again. So let's see. All right, so for the masculines, we have strategy. All right, yeah. It's, it's, it, this is in line with what I've been saying in the past couple of readings, that the masculines have been feeling a lot closer to their feminines. Um, and because of that, they're beginning to feel like this is a real possibility, that they are capable of overcoming whatever that obstacle is that is standing between the two of you and really trying to come up with a strategy here for how to go about it. And for some of them, it's really just about how to just how to go about improving their lives. And by doing so, the feminine might come into the picture like just naturally. Okay, it doesn't mean that it is for all of them that it is necessarily um, the goal. All right, which is actually a good thing. Okay, it, not to say that it's a bad thing if. If the masculine is doing this um, solely to be with their feminine but i feel like for the most part there are other underlying um, currents happening where the masculine just wants to live in alignment with his or her life and then a natural part of that will be will be the feminine all right so it's actually a good thing because if the goal is only um, the romantic outcome it could be based off of the wrong reasons okay so that's what i mean by that all right, so let's see what else. All right, two almost wanted to come out, but they didn't. Um, I will take the one that is sticking out here and it is deception. All right, so we have soulmate, we have vibrations, and we have deception. Okay, so, actually this one was first. So yeah, this is, there's a shift happening when it comes to vibration and a lot of that is because of the feminine actually doing his or her own inner work and by you changing your own frequency and vibration and moving forward in your life, your masculine can pick up on this and this is something that um, inspires them as well to meet that level, all right, whether it is consciously or subconsciously, okay? It could go either way. Um, you're definitely here in the picture, right? With the soulmate card. So there's definitely this vibrations, the shift in the vibrations that are being raised has to do with the Divine Feminine directly. Now we also have the deception card here because I feel like for a lot of you, this is something that you're, you're not aware of and that's where the deception lies. Um, they're not being very upfront about this strategy because it's more of an internal process that they're working on it's not and again you know like i said because the end goal is not necessarily to be with a divine feminine it's for them to be happy so for that reason you might not be aware of this strategy and of their vibrations raising they might not be showing it to you because it's all a matter of them actually improving everything else in their lives and as i said and then the um the, the feminine will come into the picture or the masculine will approach the feminine naturally 
as a natural um, progression of that. All right, so that's why we have the deception here. So let's get into the tarot and get more specific messages. swords we have the ace of swords in reverse and we also have the king of wands in reverse all right so there's definitely a lot of stress though so i know it's not all that simple it's not all just you know easy as i said um there's there's a lot of stress involved with whatever it takes to overcome this obstacle all right and again with the ace of swords being in reverse again i'm getting the sense of there being some kind of a, a deception, something not really being um, truthful. And I also get that this deception, this deception is the way that the masculine has been living his or her life up until this point. And that's why we also have the Ace of Swords in reverse. And this is actually them not really taking much action on it yet. Um, there's still this sense of not being able to really overcome this obstacle, even though, and this is why they're not being upfront about it. This is why they're not showing it because they're not sure if they can actually go through with it. They're not really sure. They're, they don't have that confidence um, to know if they can actually make it. It's more of like, I'm coming up with a strategy just in case because this is what I want to do. Um, I realize that, you know, things are not in alignment. My life is not in alignment. That's creating a lot of stress. Will I be able to fix it? I don't know. And so therefore, I'm just going to keep quiet about it. So a lot of anxiety and stress with the way that their lives are at the moment. Let's see what they're thinking about the feminine here. All right, we have the Four of Cups, the world in reverse, and the Eight of Swords in reverse. All right, okay, so... A lot of um, discontent with how the situation is at the moment. Again, um, they're feeling this way about their lives in general, and they're also feeling this way about their feminine. I also get here that they, um, for some of them, they might feel like you are ignoring them or that you might be moving on. Um, not really sure if you would even still want to take their offer. And then for others, it's just this sense of settling with the situation in the way that it is, knowing that it's that it's not complete, knowing that there are loose ends and feeling like there are loose ends. But also, there were some fears, right, that the masculine was holding towards the towards the connection with the feminine. And I feel like these are being released. clarify some of these. Let's clarify the top row. Alright, so clarifying the top row here, we have the Six of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the hanging man in reverse. Um, Six of Swords is also in reverse, by the way. All right, so there's a lot of stress regarding the fact that they have not moved away from conflict. Like whatever it is that they've done in the past, that conflict is still there and they feel like they, they have um, possibly made an effort to move towards a calmer state of being, towards happiness, and that has not worked out. So this is creating a lot of stress for them because they realize that. Um, what it is that they're not living in alignment is that there is a lack of love. They have not gone after what they truly want in their hearts. Okay, so they feel like that is um, what is missing here in their lives. And at the same time, though, right now, it's that they are also not really doing anything here. They're kind of like staying stuck as this hanging man because they, they're not sure if they can actually um, execute this strategy. 
So until it is more um, concrete, it's like they're holding back. It's it's more of a development of this of this strategy in their minds. Uh, let me clarify the bottom row. So I'm actually going to keep them where they where they fell. So we have the moon, the five of pentacles, and the queen of wands. All right, yeah, see, so this is exactly what I was saying, that the fears, and for each of them, these fears are going to be different, but they've, for the most part, most masculines have had some fear when it comes to the connection with their with their feminine, all right? The, the um, queen of wands here. These fears are being released. It's, it's like all of a sudden they're just not so afraid of what this connection would represent, what it would mean for them, you know, the changes that would need to be made. So this is a very positive step forward. Um, the fact that they feel, some of them feel like you would ignore them or that you are ignoring them or that you don't want this, that is an illusion here. All right, with the moon, this is, um, and this does create some fear within them, but that's okay. That doesn't mean that you should change what you are doing because this is something that needs to be processed by the masculines, all right? Um, <clears throat> and yeah, see, again, so there's this fear of rejection. Even though they know there are loose ends here they know that things are not complete they know that there's a cycle that they need to close out when it comes to the feminine in order to be able to have what it is that they want but there's that fear of a rejection that they need to conquer on their own there's nothing you can do about that all right now i also have um the tower here which popped out so i don't feel like this is a major major energy at the moment it could be it could be because in um for some of them. I don't get that it is for all of them, though, because I know that we did get, um, for the future energies, I think it was in last week's reading, that there was a huge, huge tower moment coming up. Um, so this could, this could definitely be it. It just doesn't really feel like it's anything that crazy at the moment. All right, so it could still be, still be building. But what this is saying to me, though, is that it is all of these energies that are at work here <clears throat> with the masculine, it is pushing them to really understand that things need to change big time. All right, something is gonna have to be destroyed to be rebuilt, old ideas, old paradigms, old belief systems. So that is the um, state that they are in currently. Let's see what's going on with the feminine and then we'll come back to the masculine to see what is, um, what is coming up or maybe get a little bit more into their feelings. All right, so for the feminines. All right, we got two. We have happy family and we have envy. Huh. All right, Femmies. I feel like uh, the feminines are really thinking about what happiness really means, what a happy family really represents, what is that, what is that experience, and I feel like you've been thinking about it so much that there might be a little bit of this sense of envying that, right, like wanting it so bad and being a little bit, um, I don't know how to, how to word this, just, you know, kind of feeling like, well, you know, why don't I have this in my life? Why is it so difficult to have this? And then, you know, possibly being a little bit envious of other people who seem to be happy in their, in their families um, or in their love <clears throat> connections. And that is, it is totally natural to, to feel that way at times. Some of you might be thinking about, you know, having children and feeling like, you know, this hasn't been able to happen for you yet. Let's see what else. All right, we have third party. The answer is yes and metamorphosis. All right. <clears throat> so for those of you who might be um, 
considering having another relationship or dating or anything along those lines, I feel like that is not necessarily something that is going to hold you back. It's not going to be deceitful to the connection with the masculine. That's what I'm getting. You don't have to agree with me, okay? This reading is not for everybody, but that is what I'm getting here, all right? Third party, the answer is yes and metamorphosis because this can help you in your own um, spiritual growth, on your own path for whatever reason. It doesn't mean necessarily that you're ending up with another person. It doesn't mean that you're not going to come into union with your with your divine counterpart, but in some cases, okay, and I am stressing the word some cases, and you would feel this, okay, if this is for you, there can be a phase where there are other parties involved, and that is okay. That might help lead to this metamorphosis that is needed, a transformation, both for you and possibly also for your counterpart. Now, for others of you, the message could be that, you know, if there is a third party involved with your, with your masculine, again, there's a reason for that. That is not something to um, look down upon. Okay, there's a reason for that. That is part of <clears throat> your masculine's lessons. However, this is showing up in your energy. So that means that it's also a part of your own lessons. You and a third party, okay, whether it's another relationship or whatever, it could be a situation, it's also in your life in some way. It's still connected to you. So you might even have a soul contract with that person, okay, if it is a person, the third party. Um, do keep that in mind, all right? This person is there helping you to grow as well, whether, you know, it might not be so apparent in the 3D, but if you were to look at the situation from the 5D or from a higher perspective, you could see why you are being triggered in certain ways by a third party in order for your own metamorphosis, for your own growth. Um, so let's get some tarot for you as well. And then I do want to go back to the masculines and get just a little bit of their emotional space here because we didn't get much of that. I just asked for, mostly for what they're thinking. All right, so we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Ace of Swords upright, and the King of Swords. All right, so I feel like um, for for the feminines, there are times, again, and I feel like you might just be going through one of these phases where you just, you know, you don't like the fact that you are alone, if you are alone, okay? You might already, some of you I know are already um, entering other relationships, but for those of you who are alone, I feel like you, you really, it's like bugging you, okay? And that also um, is related to this envy with, with happy family. However, I do see you really standing strong. I do see you being um, becoming more confident regardless of that. Okay, and even if you are in another um, relationship, okay, it could still be that you're feeling this way because you're not with the masculine. And it's going to be different for everybody. It just is. All right, let me just get, let me get a few more because I feel like you are really beginning to understand the truth of dependency or codependency, attachment, and you are determined to move away from that energy. All right, the ace of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Hierophant. Yeah, again, I feel like you you are moving away from, from, from attachment, although it feels like, you know, it can sometimes get to you, kind of, you know, it could make you feel a little bit like, okay, um, I need to work on my self-worth a little bit because it's like that dependency is 
affecting you in a way where it's making you feel like, you know, if you don't have this happy family, if you don't have what other people seem to have who are happy, you know, then it can make, it can be very easy to make you feel like just lower about your your own self, okay? So I feel like that's just a message for some of you. But I still do see you getting out of that. I do see you being determined to not be in that energy. So I feel like it is more of a phase. And again, I also see that, you know, I do feel like for some of you, this is um, being open either to a new relationship or getting to that point where if you were feeling defensive towards the connection with the masculine, you are opening up yourself to that again. And that comes with the higher learning and the higher understanding of what this connection really is and what it is about. And it's mostly about your own healing. It's about your own growth. It's like, you know, um, the outcome of union as a romantic um, outcome that's secondary that would be a product of you actually healing yourself your inner wounds and allowing your soul to have the experiences and the lessons that it was meant to have and that ultimately you chose to have through this experience so I feel like once you understand that like fully understand it like really feel it like deep in your bones that's when things will begin to get a little bit easier being open to love but also not expecting it yeah i'm not going to clarify anything here So yeah, being open to love, not expecting it, and understanding that the most important thing here is what you are learning throughout this journey. And it's like, you know, you unless that's a priority, it's going to be very difficult for physical union to actually take place. Because if it does, before you are ready, before you have accepted um, the lessons, then it's going to be more difficult for you to learn the lessons. And for that reason, the universe won't allow that. And your own soul, your own higher self, and your masculine's higher self won't allow that, won't allow union to happen if it is to cut your lesson short. Because your soul's priority is the lessons. Your 3D self sometimes <laughs> might feel like it's the romantic outcome. But what's going to win is what your soul wants and what your higher self wants. Alright, let's see masculine's emotional space concerning the situation. Alright, we have strength, we have the Ten of Wands, and the Knight of Swords in reverse. So yeah, as I said, this is like a little bit of a restless... Um, point in time where, like I said, they're trying to come up with a strategy. The vibration is shifting. The vibration is shifting and they are trying to adjust to that. This vibration that they are entering is bringing them closer to their divine um, soulmate. This is coming more and more into the forefront of their of their minds. And so all of this that they are processing, like understanding, you know, how miserable they are at the moment, the way that they have created their, their own life, it's like now is the time where they are beginning to feel emotionally stronger because there is no other way to move forward. There is no other way to release this burden because emotionally they are feeling very, very burdened. And that's because they feel like their divine feminine is their soulmate and this person is missing and they have this fear of rejection. All right, they see you as somebody very, very um, desirable, like you are the one. And they're feeling like they don't have what it takes or they haven't had what it takes. They haven't done what is needed to be done in order to, to move forward towards that. And so now they're feeling a lot more um, courageous. They're building up that courage 
emotionally because it does take emotional courage as well to face one's feelings and emotions and what cannot be denied anymore. And all of this has been and still is very burdening on them emotionally to the point where they're feeling a little bit crazy, feeling a little bit like they're going crazy. Um, but again, there's a reason for that. So let's actually see what is coming up in the near future. What can you expect if you are if you are in contact, you might be able to see some of this energy. If not, um, you might still be able to pick up on it. So let's see. What is coming up in the next week or so for the masculines? The Eight of Cups, the Seven of Wands, and Temperance. All right. So this is actually pretty positive because this is the masculine emotionally detaching from whatever it is that is um, keeping them back. And I feel like this is going to be issues in their lives where they really need to stand up for themselves to other people, to other situations, or even to their own self in some cases. All right. And they're doing this from a place of of balance. This is leading to, to balance and it is going to help them to heal as well. Okay, whatever it is that they're leaving behind. And I feel like that is going to be a direct result of them building up this courage, feeling so exhausted by all this burden that they're carrying in their hearts emotionally, that it just has to be left behind. And that's what I see them doing here with that, with that eight of cups. Um, this is going to be especially true for people pleasers, all right? This is them really standing their ground, setting boundaries with other people and being like, no, you know what? This is who I am. This is what I want. And, you know, I have to move in that direction. And I really see them doing this in a very, very balanced way um, with temperance being here, not from a um, egotistical or self-serving or self-defensive type of a stance. So that's actually um, very, very, very positive. And you might even be able to feel that emotional detachment or that walking away from something in their, in their lives that they need to put their foot down or, or stand up for themselves against. So let's see for the feminines. Anything coming up for you or just any message for you. And then we'll get some oracle cards to close out the reading. <laughs> Look at that. You have the seven of wands as well. All right. The star, the world in reverse and <clears throat> the seven of wands. All right, this is interesting because I, I feel like the, the star may have been in reverse, actually. Um, I feel like this is you get, take this as guidance or take it as something that you are doing. Take it as encouragement, okay? However, it makes sense for you. But I feel like this is really coming to terms with not having exactly what you had wanted. Being okay with that. Just trusting and at the same time, <laughs> trusting that it's not done, all right? We're all in reverse here, which the masculine also had. Um, there are still lessons here that you are learning on this journey and you are learning those lessons by not having exactly what it is that you want, not having exactly what you think maybe you, you should have had or, you know, things not being in the way that maybe sometimes you think they should have been, right? So if you don't have that happy family at the moment, it's okay. There is a reason for that. And I know it can sound really, really harsh, um, sometimes, but the divine knows better than we do. All right, so if something is not meant to happen right now, it's not meant to happen for a reason. Can you control that? Um, to an extent, yes, not 100%, but yeah, there are things you can do to make, to help yourself manage this a little bit more effectively and still be able to, to find that happiness regardless. All right, and I feel like a part of that is, you know, setting your own boundaries against whatever it is that you need to send boundaries towards and also releasing defense mechanisms and ego that might um, 
show up here and there to kind of, you know, protect you. No, you know, be authentic because I know you have that. You have the Ace of Swords here. You totally can be authentic with your own self. And so that's a huge part of your healing as well. And I do feel like healing is um, more healing, more intense healing is coming up for you. Because there are, I mean, there's always something, right? That's still an obstacle, something we still need to heal within ourselves. Um, especially when we feel like, you know, we're not 100% where we want to be. So, what I'm going to do, because I have... <clears throat> I actually have two new oracle decks from a very dear friend and viewer. Um, and thank you so much, by the way, shout out to you, you know who you are. <clears throat> I'm going to pull one um, from the Moon Moonology oracle deck. I'm going to pull one for the masculine and one for the, for the feminine. So let's see for the masculines first, just any message. For the feminines about the masculine right or if you're a masculine watching then yes you can definitely take this as well for you personally we have a win-win outcome is forecast this is the full moon in libra all right yeah so <laughs> this is the strategy they want it to be a win-win all right from their end they want this to be a win-win situation for them as well as as for you, okay, and this also talks a lot about bringing things into balance and also resolving karma. So, and, and for me, you know, karma can oftentimes be very much related to the lessons that you are both learning. So don't be discouraged just because there are still lessons to learn, okay? That is what is also helping to balance out the karma between the two of you. All right, so for the Femmies, we have the new moon in Cancer, which is you and your loved ones are safe. So for whoever needs to hear this message, all right, it could, if for some of you, it could even be that you are worried about, about your masculine. Um, it could be about other people in your lives. Whatever the case, just know that That they are that they are safe one way or another. All right, so I will get one more. This is the I think it's the Oracle of the Unicorns. Right. Oh, and we have balance. Take time to relax, indulge a little more or less, set boundaries with your work. Okay, so don't take the messages too literally, um, you know, take them as they resonate for your situation. But I find it very interesting that we have balance here when I was just talking about balance um, for the card that the masculines got here. Okay, so things are coming into balance. Things are um, resolving on a karmic level. All right, this is what I am getting here. And if for some of you, yes, maybe you do need to take some time to relax. And here we are, uh, here it is again about setting boundaries, which is what I actually talked about for both the masculine as well as for the feminine. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if this resonated, and I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.